While it was a common practice to install just a pair of winter tires on the rear axle of a rear wheel drive vehicle decades ago, the advances in winter tire technology and traction that have occurred since have made that practice unacceptable. The braking comparison from 30 miles an hour showed us that the car equipped with winter tires all the way around again stopped in a distance of about 58 feet while the car equipped with all season tires on the front and winter tires on the rear took an additional one and a half car lengths to stop, or about 20 feet more. The vehicle didn't fully benefit from the pair of winter tires on the rear axle. And when we attempted to drive through the corner at 25 miles an hour, only the winter tire equipped car was able to complete the corner, while the car with all season tires on the front axle slid off the road. Again, the vehicle didn't significantly benefit from the pair of winter tires on the rear axle. While all season tires may provide enough wintertime traction for drivers in areas of the country that only receive occasional light snow, the tire rack feels there isn't a viable alternative to dedicated winter tires if drivers expect to encounter deep or frequent slush snow and ice. Tires are often the difference between wintertime gripping and white knuckle snow slipping and only sets of four will do.